What's up everybody, it's your man Black Panther and I'm here back with another video to teach you a little something about a little something. All right, so what are we in? Day, week, month, seven of a quarantine or something like that. I don't know, but whatever it is, you've probably been streaming quite a bit. And if you've been streaming using Streamlabs OBS, you may or may not, usually may, have run into a few problems, especially high CPU usage. So you've decided you want something more simple, more direct, less bloated and you're going to XSplit, or maybe, in my case, OBS Studio. But you want to take all of your overlays that you downloaded from the Streamlabs store, whether you were grandfathered in or if you have a paid membership, and move them over. So this video is going to teach you exactly how to do that. All right, cool. So you've been streaming, you got some followers, you're getting some bits, you got some subs, and you're like, man, I keep dropping some frames because my computer's working really hard, and I think it's my software, and boom, I want to go to OBS because everyone's telling you to do it. So if you want to do it, here, I'm going to teach you exactly how to do it. First things first, we're going to go down and open up our Streamlabs. I've already opened mine as a preset of the video. And what you're going to do is you're going to choose something that you have downloaded from the OBS store. In my case, this was part of the overlay and it had some emblems. So you just click on that source, right click on that source, and then check out the properties of it, okay? So the properties are going to tell you exactly where that file is. Most people don't even know this. Why? Because when you click browse, you're going to see that it's buried way down in your app data. So here in the search bar, just click it, left click, and then right click to copy it. Okay, you can now close out of this and then cancel out of this, and we're going to move over to our finder, okay? So in the finder here, I've already had mine open so you can see a few different things here, but usually you probably will pull up this right here. All right, so I'll go to my backup drive. I'm gonna click inside the finder here, right click and select paste. Hit the enter button and that's gonna show me all of these things again. Now, for me, I like to copy the files and not cut them just in case I go back to Streamlabs or anything like that. Or if I need to go back and just get the original files, I have them already for any reason that something might happen on this drive. So I'm gonna right click this here. Gonna copy these files. And then I'm gonna go to my PC, my backup drive, and I'm going to create a new folder. I'm gonna call it test. Right, so I'm opening the folder, I'm going in the folder now, and I'm going to choose paste, just like that. So now I have all of these files from Streamlabs OBS that were buried in my app data in a place where I know exactly where they are, right? So what I'm gonna do is close out of this, and then if I were in my OBS and creating a scene, I can do it from the lab right here. I would just go to my source after creating the scene, now I would click on image <clears throat> and or media source, depending on if you have a static or an animated source. If it's a video, it's gonna be a media source. If it's a still shot photo, like a be right back screen that can be still, you can choose, uh, choose image. Choose image, you can title the image, whatever you wanna title it. Click okay. I'm gonna unload it when it's not showing because I don't want a lot of these background processes. And then I'm gonna go to browse. When I go to browse, I'm gonna click my PC, the backup storage, and then I'm gonna to go to test, okay? Once I go to test, what do you see? You see everything that came with my Streamlabs, Streamlabs download, including the Be Right Back screen. So I would just close the, uh, choose whatever file it is right there, click it, open it, and then you're done. Hope this video helped you guys out. I tried to keep it short and simple, and I'll see you on the next go round. And of course, if you thought this video was helpful, like, Comment, subscribe, get at your boy. Appreciate you guys for stopping in. See ya.